Okay, what I'm using here is a mold release wax. Uh, this one's actually made for, it's a high temp, so it's made for when you're going to use higher temperatures like uh, molds in an autoclave or something like that. Anytime like you're making a mold, you would put layers of this paste wax, mold release wax, on the plug. So you wax on, you let it set up a minute, you wipe it off. You're supposed to wait about half an hour between coats, but you put on like five or six coats. Wade is wiping off the final coat from our glass surface. This is uh, PVA, which is polyvinyl alcohol. It's a mold release product also. It's a liquid mold release. It dries to a, like a, a green film. It's a water soluble product. So once you let it dry on the surface of something, it can be washed off of water. So what we're going to do is try and seal this thing up and then glass it. This is three quarter ounce mat, which we're going to use to lay up. Okay, when you use mat, a lot of times, especially if you're using it in like a um, curve situation, like compound curves and stuff, you can't, it's, it's pretty stiff stuff. So that when you wet it out with polyester resin, it softens up quite a bit. But a lot of times, you can use it, the flat pieces on a flat area. But in the curves, I always just tear it up into little strips and you just stack strip upon strip. Wade explains how to use the putty. You're making a mold. You put your plug down on whatever surface you're putting. You, you will use it to, to seal the edge. Sealing the edge of your mold keeps the resin from seeping underneath your plug, as well as providing a clean transition between the flat surface and curved surface. We're going to be using our proprietary UV Cure polyester resin with optical brightener. I'm going to start just glassing the dome here. Put some resin on it. Wade applies a cheater coat of resin to the mold. This coat of resin will create a tacky surface. When Wade lays the mat onto the curved areas, the mat will stay. Initially, Wade will work the resin into the mat using his brush. As you can see, he's not pouring the resin on. He's simply getting the brush saturated pushing down on the mat. Kind of resin rich on, on mat. That's the nature of it. Styrene in the, in the polyester resin wets out and you can see it goes clear. I'll just put down resin first with the mat. How do you put it down? Is it just sticks down, it wets out. As you're using it, you, know, you just tear it. Put a piece in there, in there. You got the gloves are all messed up now. Peel off a layer. Clean again. And then you use the resin rollers. You kind of use just a light pressure with it. 
as you can see, it kind of brings the resin up. Once we've rolled the mat flat and gotten all of the air out, we're going to take our little project outside into the sun to cure, since we use the UV cure resin. Before it fully cures, Wade is going to trim the edge of the project. He's just using a standard single edge razor blade. It's important to do it before it cures, otherwise you're going to have to grind the edge, because the blade will not be able to cut it. All right, here's our little project we're doing with our laminating or wax glass or mold release glass so you kind of get up on the edge on it here it comes off really easy so I don't know if the foam's going to come off as easy but it came off pretty easy with a little finagling we're able to pop the foam right out of the mold Got our foam out, and this is the PVA still left in the in the little dome that we glassed over. The rest of this PVA will come out as soon as I put water in there; it'll dissolve. As you can see, that was a fun, simple project that can be done in the comfort of your own home or workshop.